This is part 2 of the C-Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn all about the Visual Studio and we will also create a sample application using ASP.NET MVC with C-Sharp as a language. Okay, so let's get started with the Visual Studio. So what is Visual Studio? So Visual Studio is an IDE that is Integrated Development Environment which is used to develop several kinds of application. So using Visual Studio, you can develop console application Windows application, web application, web services, Windows services, etc. Okay, so in previous tutorial, we discussed about C Sharp as well as the .NET. And in .NET framework, uh, I told you that the .NET framework supports more than 30 languages. So if you are developing your code in those languages, then you need an interface. So Visual Studio will provide you that interface where you can write your C sharp code, F sharp code, or maybe VB code, okay, whatever language you just choose, okay. So, also the Visual Studio integrates several frameworks so that they can compile your code, understand your code, and provide you several services so that you can develop a full fledged application, okay. So, Visual Studio is more rich more powerful and more popular ide in the world okay so before i show you this incredible tool to you please visit visualstudio.microsoft.com and download any of these versions there are more versions like visual studio 2010 and 2012 but i would recommend you to download only these four versions so when you visit this website then by default it will show Visual Studio 2019 which is the latest version but the disadvantage of uh, this version is that the initial size would be 7 GB and it will be increasing as soon as you add more features to it okay and same case with 2015 and 2017 and if you are a beginner and want to develop a simple MVC application or maybe web services WCF web services or maybe web API okay then you should go for this version the advantage is that the size would be starting from like 720 MB and you can easily install it on your computer and start developing your first website okay if you want to develop a web application then you should go for Visual Studio 2013 Express for web where you can develop MVC application, web API application, WCF application or you can add several C sharp class library okay and you can just go and click on this ISO image file so but it will download the 720 file and you can install it on your computer and quick quickly start with your project okay and if you want to go for the Windows application then or maybe console application then you can go for this and there are many more options are also available you can go for it okay and if you want to download Visual Studio 2015 then I have a direct link here you can just visit this Stack Overflow website and then you can click on this ISO image link by uh, uh, it will just download the 7 GB file on your computer okay and for Visual Studio 2017 I also have provided the direct link you can just click on this link and download the software for downloading Visual Studio 2019 you don't have to be worried just go uh, visualstudio.microsoft.com it will show you the latest version and in the drop down you can just click on this community uh, 2019 and you're done okay so I think for Visual Studio 2017 and Visual Studio 2019 uh, they will provide installer so you need uh, good internet so that it can download 7 GB file okay so whenever you want to uh, develop a dotnet core application then you should go for Visual Studio 2015 onwards okay and obviously the latest version will have more advantages you can also visit visualstudio.microsoft.com slash vs slash older downloads 
where you can download all these older versions like starting from 2010 2012 2013 15 and 17 but uh, you need to be very careful as there will be you know uh, multiple files you need to pick up the exact file okay so that's why I have provided you you know direct links so that it will be easier to uh, get the software okay now I will show you on the website so first go to uh, this website where you can download Visual Studio 2013 so here you can see the options Visual Studio 2013 Express for web where you can click on this link so that you can download Visual Studio 2013 Express for web ISO image okay and if you want to develop a desktop application you can just click you can download this ISO image file Express for Windows okay and there are more options available and if you notice that when I hover on this ISO image link then you can see on the bottom left corner it is downloading from the official Microsoft.com website so you don't have to be worried about the softwares okay now the second link is the stack overflow here you can see uh, this post and and just click on this ISO file so that you can download this community edition okay and the third option is you can visit visualstudio.microsoft.com it will show you the latest version you can just click on this drop down and then you can download the community edition okay and the last option is you can visit visualstudio.microsoft.com slash vs slash older downloads and you can just go and click on the specific versions okay when you click on the downloads then it will show you several softwares so that you can uh, you can just download any of these so you should be very careful while downloading the exact software okay otherwise you will be you know worried about downloading Visual Studio as you know uh, downloading and installing a Visual Studio is a little bit complicated or maybe it is very straightforward for the latest version but for finding a different uh, older version you may face some problems like many developer uh, used to face this problem so once you download and install this software you can just flip to Visual Studio so here is your interface where you can see this is our document windows where you can see some of the shortcuts to create a new project to open a project to create a new website to open a, an existing website and to open code from the source control I'll just let you know what is it okay so same option you can find under this file tab so you can create a new project new website new team projects you can open projects you can open websites you can open code from the source control okay and this is the recent projects uh, whatever projects you have just created and opened it will be listed here okay and this is more important tab like view so you can just click on this team explorer it will show you the team explorer where you can find all the projects from the teams okay so first you need to uh, connect with the uh, team foundation server okay where you can download all the projects and server explorer this is sql server object explorer and this one is important the other window so here in the other window you can find solution explorer so in solution explorer you can just see all of your projects present under the solution okay so a, a solution is the collection of several projects okay I will show you when we will create a sample application we will discuss it more okay and there is also you can just press control plus alt plus L to open solution explorer and it will be shown on the right side 
now the team server so whenever you are working in a company then you know there are lots of developer working on a single project so that project will be placed on a single server and then all of the developer just access that project and get the latest version of that project and do their changes and commit commit their changes so this is how developer work in the company okay and this is the tool where you can just connect to the database connect to the server and here is the NuGet package manager you can s open the package manager console where you can write your console query and then again if you have created a project then you can see more options here like package manager for a solution where you can download more plugins I'll show you that and here is the extension and updates for your Visual Studio this is for your test projects and windows so here you can just reset windows layout so once I click on that it has just reset my layout okay and this is the help section so first let me create a sample project so first click on the new project and choose here you can see we have visual basic and visual c sharp this is the express edition uh, visual studio like i have shown you here this visual studio 2013 express for web okay so here we will get limited options so first choose visual c sharp as a language and select a web project and here you can get ASP.NET web application select the ASP.NET web application and then give it a name like I'll give C sharp tutorial alright and this project will be created under D tutorial projects and the solution name would be the same C sharp tutorial okay and click OK then you will have these options like you can create an empty project you can create waveforms project ASP.NET waveforms and then you can create MVC application and web API application and this here is single page applications Azure API okay so we will choose here MVC application and then click OK so this feature is called as the scaffolding where Visual Studio will create a sample project for you okay so you're ready to go here you can see just cut it and this is the document this is the startup page for you okay just remove it here you can see the solution explorer okay same thing I'll show you when you cut it this move it close all windows and then go to windows and reset windows layout okay so it will show you the solution explorer the second option is you can just go to view then other then you can just open solution explorer so it will show you here so here you can see this is the MV MVC projects so where you can find model view and controller and when you extend the controller you can go to home controller and it will show you the code window okay here you can see in model controller view the f first method is the index method okay and then when you run this project using this it will open the Google Chrome and will show you the startup page designed by the Visual Studio so here you go so Visual Studio has created a sample project for you so this is your first ASP.NET MVC application that will be using C sharp as a language okay now let's get back to Visual Studio and just click on this button to stop debugging 
okay now if you check the tools and then go to NuGet package manager then here you will see one more options like manage NuGet package for solution from where you can download all the extra packages that will be required for your solutions okay like third-party plugins or maybe extra features that will be required for your project okay so in the reference type same thing you can do with the reference type also just right click here and go to manage new gauge packet manager okay and uh, if you see this is the solution and here I have one project which is the web application project MVC project here the solution is the collection of project so in this solution I can add more projects like I can add more C sharp libraries so here you can add new project and then go to visual C sharp here you can see C sharp library and you can give it a name like C sharp dot business where you can write your business logic okay so this is my second project so a solution is a collection of project okay and a project is the collection of items like here you can add items like add you can add a class okay and here you can see more options you can create an HTML page JavaScript file style sheet waveforms there are lots of options and there here you can add new items and in the items you can just add HTML page, JavaScript page, style sheets, MVC 5 view page and here you can see several options that you can add in your project like here you can see you can add WCF services you can create a folder here like if I create right click here you can add a folder new folder here like say test and then in test folder I can add one more projects like add new item and I can choose WCF services you can choose WCF services you can give it a name and then you can add it in your project okay so I hope you understand how to operate this software how to create a project how to add an item to the projects and uh, in the next video series we will use this software as much as possible but our main main target is to learn the C sharp so in the next tutorial we will start with the basic concept of c-sharp we will do actual coding so i hope you like this video and if you like it then give a thumbs up and thank you very much have a great day